Next stop on the uh, stop number 26 on the Castle Chicks Cup series brings us to the Glen, Watkins Glen. Yeah. For the running of the at the Glen. 355. <laughs> yeah, I know, stupid name for a race and yeah. Can't help it if I'm a Jesse fan on Disney Channel, so Anyway, let's get to the race itself. On the pole race event, here won the road course aces here in the series. Jessica Shelton, car 94, looking for her second one of the season. She'll be flanked alongside the 99 of Levi McIntyre, the XI Le Barry's SKF Ford. Here, Dalton Day, uh, who's won here to strike before himself. He starts inside of row number three. Alongside of him, it is PJ Williams, car number. 21 sit go forward. Actually, it's run number two, not three. Excuse me. Fail. Uh, Tower Batson inside run number three. And alongside of him, Adrian Becker, car number 30, the gum out Pontiac. Then it's Keith Batson, car number 20, the Texaco Havlin Ford. And they'll be alongside of him. It is Michael Norman, car number two, the Miller Light Ford Thunderbird. Then it's Rohit Vaderby and, and inside of run number five. And Peachy London, car number 22, the Caterpillar Pontiac. Drivers. Start your engine. Hang in the bar engines. Next row down, Joshua Osborne, car 35, a former winner here himself. And alongside of him, Jeff James, car 23, the Smoking Joe's Ford. And then it'll be it'll be Cody Lamas and Joshua Collard, who's uh, also really good at this racetrack himself. He's won here many, many times, especially as well in the Castro Edge Nationwide series. He's won at this track, and he's also won here in other series as, as well. In... Yeah. <laughs> so the field rounding through turn number eleven. As we're about to get as we're about to get set for nine laps of racing here today at the famous Watkins Glen. Field coming to start finish line, the green flag waves. Let's go road racing. Jessica Shelton jumping out to the big lead, jumping the lead now. On Levi McIntyre, Levi, look, Levi looking for his third win of the season. Shelton looking for her second. She won earlier this season at Rockingham. Has. Even though she's got only one win, she's still second place in the points chase, uh, not far behind the leader, Andres Allen. <laughs> and now into the interlude, which is turns five, six, seven, and eight. Shelton's won twice, two of four Shelton, two of Shelton's four wins came on road courses at Riverside and Sonoma, so she can win here at the Glen. She'll have pulled off the sweep in road courses. Or she'll have won it all three records, I mean to say, excuse me. If she can hold them all up here to Glenn. Keith Batson getting off a little bit on the dirt and coming out of turn 10. But it'll be Jessica Shelton leading the first lap of the event here at the Glen. Second is Levi McIntyre. Third is Dalton Day. He needs a good pick-me-up in the points chase. He's been falling back a little bit. He's been up and down this season in his comeback. <laughs> Number 17, Western Auto Chevrolet. Fourth is P.J. Williams. Fifth right now, Tower Batson. Keith Batson's in sixth. And a battle for seventh between Adrian Becker, Rohit Vaderview, and Michael Norman. Car number two. And then Cody Lamas have, holding off a hard battle for the tenth spot between he, P.J. London, Deion Scott. Dylan Poteet's in there. Jeff James, Joshua Osborne. <laughs> a lot of them battling for that tenth spot. Front five cars have broken away right now. But it's been all about this lady, Jessica Shelton, who's a 7-4, one of the big road course aces here, somewhat. As I said, she's had, th she's had two wins on road courses out of her four wins so far. So if she can win here at the Glen, as I said, it'd be three out of five. 
The other two tracks she's won at. She won this season at Rockingham. She won in season nine at Martinsville. But she's yet to get a Speedway win. A mile and a half or... She's yet to get a mile and a half, two mile super speedway, a speedway win or a super speedway win like a Talladega or Daytona. Dalton Day right now running in third position. He's trying to catch up on Levi McIntyre for second. And hopefully has something for Jessica at the end. PJ Williams in fourth position. Third is Tyler Basson. So out of the top So out of the top seven cars, you got six of them are Fords. Dalton Day is a lone non-Ford product in the top six and top seven cars. The only Chevrolet in that bunch. Three laps into the book, six laps to go here at the Glen. Front five cars have broken away. Eighth position now is the lone Pontiac of Adrian Becker. And then Michael Norman's in ninth. Tenth is Cody Lamas. Eleventh is Pichu London. Twelfth, Dion Scott. Thirteenth is Jeff James. Fourteenth, Dylan Poteet. Chris Washer in fifteenth position. Joshua Collard, or Joshua Osborne, excuse me. Taking sixteenth from Joshua Collard. Tim Fiegel in forty-six is right in that bunch as well. TJ Lickie's also up there in the points. He's up in the top ten in standings. Joshua Osborne, he's um, kind of been hit and miss this season. He's he's still in the top 20. And of course, he was in the top 10 for a long time this season, but a little bit of a slide's dropped him back a little bit. Had a disappointing run at the Brickyard, the last race on the tour. Tim Fiegel's up there in 18th, 19th is... Or, yeah, no, 18th actually is Joshua Collard. 19th is TJ Lick. Actually, we'll see where he's at right now in the moment. Yes, he is. He's in 19th position. 20th, a battle for 20th going on between Andres Allen as he takes a spot from Stephanie Naylor in 97. Oh, Stephanie gets off an aggressive and almost door slams uh, Jeremy Doobie. Now he's in a battle with Alan Cavanero. There's Sean Galgan in the mix is now in the 44. Gets off and aggress a little bit. The Brickyard winner, Mayonnaise, Charles Jackson, battling with his buddy Sean Galligan. Ian Dutt is up there. Cassandra Renzi. She's having a bad run herself there. Zed Weinstein, he's a former winner here at the Glen himself. He's in, but back there as well. Johnny Gardner is in there. Kyle Matthews, he's won, he's won the Glen before. Mike Becker. Winner at Riverside this season. Martinsville winner this season, Cole Daly, car 24. He's uh, up th he's up there in the standings as well. It's not going to be good news for him. He's, he was up in the, I think, third or fourth in the standings coming in. And he's back in the 32nd spot. It's so not a good run for Cole Daly. Dustin Sloniker, Seth Cole's up there, 34 or 34th position. Daniel Day, Chris Dalton, and Batson in 37. She's uh, six. She was six in points coming in. But the lead still being held by Jessica Shelton. She has now. She'll be coming the three laps to go this time by. Shelton looking strong, uh, has been strong on the road course, as I said before. And so far, it's still a fort. Actually, make that now top eight cars. Six, seven of the top eight cars are now, let's make that all of them Fords. Seven of the top eight. As Michael Norman takes the eighth spot away from Adrian Becker. Adrian winner this season at Langhorn Speedway. There's the only non-Ford product he's running in third position. It's Dalton Day in 17, the Western Auto Chevrolet. It's a 95 Monte Carlo he's driving. Here, Levi McIntyre in a 1999 Taurus. And Shelton in a 1996 Thunderbird.
on board with Jessica Shelton, car number 94. Puts her right in the fourth gear, but now breaks hard for turn number 10. Hanging the turn 11. 11. Plays the throttle just a little bit. Now coming out of the turn onto the front stretch. And she'll break very hard for turn number one. It's a 90 degree turn. A 90 degree left hander, that, or right hander that it is. Up to the S as she goes. The speed increases 150 miles an hour now at this point. 160. Up to speed increasing 170, 175, 180. 182 miles an hour heading off in the, in the inner loop. And she gets through there at about about 100 miles an hour at this point. Now through turn number nine she goes. She'll be coming to the white flag this time by. That's Jessica Sheldon. You're riding with the leader. And she heads off in a turn at 10 at 170 miles an hour. Front six cars stay status quo at this point. It's coming out of turn number 11. Jessica Shelton sees the white flag. She has one lap remaining here at Watkins, here at the Watkins Glen 355. Levi McIntyre is still a second. Third is Dalton Day, PJ Williams, Tyler Batson, Keith Batson, Rohit Vaderview, Michael Norman, Adrian Becker, and Pichu Lund in the top ten. Battle here going on right there between Jeff James and Dylan Poteet and Joshua Osborne. That's for 14th, I believe. But rounding off the turn, Levi McIntyre hoping for one little slip out of Jessica Shelton, but Shelton's been Hitting her marks, her shift points, everything. And she's going to survive the last two turns. Here, coming out of turn number 10. Now has one more turn to negotiate. Off turn number 11 she goes. The Watkins Glen 355 will belong to the number 94 McDonald's Ford. Jessica Shelton wins at the Glen. And she now has won on all three road courses in the Casual GTX Cup Series. Second to Levi McIntyre, third Dalton Day, fourth position PJ Williams, and fifth place will go to Tyler Batson. Caution free here at the Glen. Here. Average speed 128.677. Give you the top five of this race already. 11th, or ten, third, sixth was Keith Batson, seventh place Rohit Baderview. Michael Norman, Adrian Becker, and Pete Chulun in the top 10. Then 11th was Cody Lamas, 12th Dion Scott. Jeff James won the battle for 13th. Dylan Poteet, 14th. 15th was Joshua Osborne, Tim Eagle, Chris Washer, TJ Lick, Andres Allen. The late championship leader was 19th, so I don't think he'll be championship leader anymore now. Seeing as how who won the race. And Joshua Collard is in 20th place and uh, finishes 20th in the race. Collard usually a good one on the road courses himself, so surprised he was down that low in, this, in the race here today. And there's the rest of your finishers here today. And Charlie Rodriguez brings up the rear in 38th, so, so apparently the road course setup screwed up for him. And some bad days for some of the points contenders. Cole Daly in 30th and Batson in 36th. And yeah. So, but a big win for Jessica Shelton as she takes home the title here at Watkins Glen. The number 94 McDonald's for her second win of the season. And that's going to vault Jessica to the lead in the points chase here after 26 events. As she is now 59 ahead of Andres Allen. Tyler Batson in third place. Fourth is TJ Lick. Fifth, Cole Daly. Charlie Rodriguez is in sixth position. In fact, a tie between he and PJ Williams. Then Pichu London in 8th, ninth is Adrian Becker, 10th is 
and Badson. Chris Washer drops to 11th. And on down to Dustin Sloniker in the 20th position. The points chase. Some of the guys moved up a little bit. Uh, Keith, Bads or Keith Badson in 13th now. Dylan Poteet, 14th. Dalton Day in 18th now in the points. We got a lot of big names in the top 20 in the in this race here in the season so far.